My role, I'm the host of The X Factor. I am a conduit between the viewer and the acts. I'm the guy who gets under the skin. I'm the guy asking the questions we all want to ask, which principally is, how do you feel about the tongue lashing you just received from Simon Cowell? <laughs> I'm the guy speaking to the family. How do the family feel about it? Because I'm watching the audition, you know, the loved one on a monitor backstage with 20 of their family members. So it's a tough situation to be in. And I've got to traverse that line of, you know, becoming emotionally detached to a degree so I can ask the right question. But it can be so difficult because you want nothing but the best of these people. There's such nice people going out there. And when they come back off the stage and they, they're shattered and their hopes and dreams are, are done, uh, it can be a tough situation to be in. You know, you're gonna, you you want to hug them and tell them it's going to be okay, but at the same time, you have to ask that question. Say, no, I can't give you to mum just yet. Just answer this question. You know, it's, it's tough. It's tough. So I'm the guy getting under the skin of the contestants. The biggest challenge, the, the dealing with the mental anguish of uh, what I call the yo-yo effect, where somebody comes off the stage and they've just uh, had their hopes and dreams destroyed by a judging panel and I have to comfort them which is tough because all their family are there at the same time and the next person who comes off has just had all their hopes and dreams confirmed they're going through to the next round they're going to Hollywood and I get to celebrate in that moment with them and their family which is wonderful but it's up and down the next person who goes on fail you know the next person who goes on succeeds it's, it's tough that has been the most challenging aspect of the show I think there was a moment in boot camp uh, where the, the, the penny kind of dropped, it all came together. I mean, auditions are kind of a bit slapdash, you don't really know what you're going to get, but with boot camp we chose 200 people, we took them there and cherry picked the best ones and then just seeing this group come together and that process, it was just wonderful. It was so exciting to watch and just, you, it just felt like we were working on, working on something a little bit special. I remember the moment just backstage watching these people perform thinking this is this is a bit special this is very very good stuff big would be my principal word uh, it's glamorous but at the same time um, anything goes I mean it's glitzy but kind of has a warts and all aspect uh, as in we'll film somebody on the way to the toilet if we feel they've got something to say you know, we're in the judges' changing rooms. We're, we're knocking about backstage. Everything is covered. There are so many cameras on this thing. We capture everything. And that is why it's going to be different from anything else. What will the viewers and the fans enjoy most about the show? Besides you. Uh, I wasn't going to say me, because that wouldn't be true. It, it, you know, it's Simon Cowell being back on the TV screens. He's our ace in the hole. You, you can't deny the man's draw. He's on blistering form. He's He's doing a hell of a job, and I think uh, that's the thing that sets us apart from anything else. We've got him.